Namaste. Welcome to part 4 of Flutter testing tutorial series. In this part, we are again going to start with unit testing. But this time, we are going to test a bit more complex class that is used to authenticate users with Firebase authentication. So, this has external dependency that we will have to mock while testing. Here, I have a very simple application that allows users to log in with their email and password and it uses Firebase authentication to authenticate the users. In order to run this project, you'll need to create your own Firebase project, enable email and password based authentication method and add your Google services.json to this project. So let us get started with testing. For unit testing, we'll not be going to see any outputs here in the emulator so I'm going to close this or remove this from the screen for now. Let me make this large. Before we begin testing, the very first thing we'd like to make sure is that we have test dependencies. So in under dev dependency, you should have flutter test and SDK flutter this as your dependency. And we need to add few more things. So first we will be mocking the external dependencies so we would like to add mockito and i'd like to use version 4.1.1 which is the latest at the time of recording and then another thing that i would like to add under dev dependencies is rx dot i'm using rx dot in dev dependencies because i'm not actually using it in my app but while testing firebase authentication i'd like to be able to use streams so I'm using it in dev dependency. M O C M O C K I T O Makito. So let's get. So it's done. Now let us create our test. So inside test, create a folder called model. And inside that folder, let's create user repository test dot dot. So in this test file, very first thing we'll do is we'll create our mock classes. So first, let us create mock classes that is required. So we'll require three mock classes class. So mock firebase of extends mock implements firebase auth next class mock user extends mock implements firebase user and next thing we'll require is that is required by firebase auth that is class mock auth result extends mock implements auth result. So these are the three mock classes that we'll be using. Let us set up our test main. Inside main, let us create instances mock firebase auth So mock firebase auth, then we'll create a stream of user. So behavior subject mock firebase user user mock firebase user. Now let us create our test group group. a repository test so body inside this let us instantiate our so inside this we'll create our first test that is test sign in email and password this is a async function in here we will 
run our test and next test is sign out. So sign out. So before we write test, we need to create an instance of our user repository object class repository user repository dot instance and if we see our user repository in instance we have to pass auth while making testable class make sure that any external dependencies can be passed through parameters while instantiating the class so here we can pass the auth so that we can pass a mock auth while testing so here auth will be our underscore auth that is our mock authentication if we run this test now we'll get an error instead of getting success so we are running the test okay so here we have a error here we can see the error is method lesion was called on null so if we see here while instantiating the class we have called auth dot on auth state change dot lesion so in order to be able to do that we need to mock this function so how to do that is here we'll use a when method when method so when underscore auth dot on auth state change when this is called then we'd like to answer so we'd like to answer a stream so our stream is user underscore user so when on auth state changed is called we'd like to return the return our behavior subject so now we can run our test again so we can run test with term from terminal flutter test now the test should pass sorry it's failing again the method lesion was called on null so we need to write this method before this instantiation because it this method is called on this instantiation so this has to be declared before this now we can run and successfully pass the test okay all test passed now we'll write our test first sign in bool signed in is equal to report dot sign in email is let's say email and password is password so expect signed in true also expect report dot status is authenticated so whenever user provides email as email and password as password users should be signed in and the status also should be authenticated so if we see our sign in method here it returns a bool whenever we successfully signed in and inside this function auth dot sign in with email and password is called so we need to mock this method before running this test here let us mock this method when auth dot sign in with email and password email is email password is password is called then answer so when this is called we'd like to add a user in the stream so underscore user dot add new mock mock firebase user and return sorry we need to return auth result so this function returns auth result and this returns a future of auth result so make this async here we have mocked the 
sign in with email and password method. So now if we run our test, we'll again should pass the test. Okay, all test pass. Test, let us write new test. Sign in false with incorrect incorrect password. So here async signed in is equal to await sign in email is let's say mail password is only pass so this should fail expect signed in false and also expect status is status dot unauthenticated what we need to do is here when underscore auth dot sign in with email and password email is mail and password is pass then throw Let's just throw and return null. With incorrect password, this test should pass. Finally, let us test the sign out. Await sign out. Here, let's make this a sync. And when this is signed out, we need to expect status should be unauthenticated okay so let us finally run our test so when we run this test it should pass so all test passed thank you everyone for watching this tutorial in this tutorial we saw how to mock external dependencies to test our classes